Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at trigonometric equations and identities. So we're going to link the two topics together of trig identities and solving some equations to do with that. So we can ask exercise 10f. So what we're going to look at first is how we might um, solve a, a quadratic trigonometric equation. Now just a little reminder of how we would solve uh, a normal quadratic equation. We would factorize first and then find our x values. Well exactly the same thing would work here with sine squared minus 3 sine plus 2. Notice here how we've just got an x squared or a sine squared minus 3x or minus 3 sine and then plus 2 at the end. So in this case here we just factorize but instead of using x's we use sines. So sine minus 2 and sine minus 1. So therefore, either sine theta equals 2 or sine theta equals 1. And solving this, sine theta equaling 2 won't have any solutions because there's no theta value that will give you a 2 uh, because the graph is in between 1 to minus 1. And sine theta equals 1, well, in between uh, 0 to 360, they'll have one solution at theta equals 90. So once you've solved that little quadratic equation, you've then got to go ahead and solve two uh, trig equations. So we've got one answer here of theta equals 90. Right, let's have a look at this one here then. 2 cos squared theta minus cos theta minus 1 equals 0. So the first thing that we do here is factorise and then set one of our brackets equal to 0. So either cos theta equals minus 0.5 or cos theta equals 1. And now looking to solve this in between 0 to 360, we put a little marker at 1 and we get solutions at 0 and 360. <clears throat> and then a little marker at minus 0 0.5 and then we use our calculator to get the first solution there of 120 and 240 there. So we've got four solutions here. We've got 0, 120, 240 and 360. <clears throat> okay, let's have another go at this one here. Sine th squared uh, of theta minus 30 equals a half. Well, the first thing that we do here is we square root both sides, um, but remember that uh, we're also going to get positive and negative values when we square root, a bit like when you do x squared equals 4, you get x equals plus or minus 2. The same thing is going to work with the trig value here. So it's going to be sine theta minus 30 equals uh, square root of 1, which is just 1 over the square root of 2, and it's the positive and negative of this value. It's obviously a theta minus 30 uh, type of equation, so we need to take away 30 from our domain. So it's now minus 30 up to 330. And now we solve each of these two trigonometric solutions independently. So the first one we get here will give us sine theta minus 30 equals 1 over root 2. So that will give us 45 degree here. And the second solution will be somewhere along here at, min at 135. Now we solve the second equation, which is the negative part of this equation here. So what we're going to get here is if we do... Um, Sine minus 1 of minus 1 over root 2, we get minus 45 as an answer. However, that's not within our domain. So we'll add 360 to get the 315 solution. Get the 315 solution that's the furthest one up here. And then we'll have to do um, a bit of symmetry work to get back to this 180 marker here. So in that case, we'll get uh, 225. So we get four solutions here, theta minus 30 equals 45, 135, 225 and 315. But now we obviously need to add 30 onto all of those angles to get what theta is, which is all of these angles. Okay, so we're linking together here what we've learnt in quadratics with solving some trig equations. Right, okay, let's have a go at this one now. So 2 cos squared theta plus 9 sine squared equals 3 sine squared. Now it's a little bit annoying that we've got a cos squared and a sine squared and a sine here. Now what I'm thinking is we need a quadratic with a certain type of trig function. And I know that cos squared can be replaced with 1 minus sine squared. So it's going to be 2 times 1 minus sine squared plus 9 sine x um, 
equals 3 sine squared x. And now we've just got sines in here. So expand your brackets and simplify and rearrange like you would a normal quadratic. And now we have to uh, factorize. So we're going to get 5 sine x plus 1 and sine x minus 2. <clears throat> so sine of x equaling 2 will give us no solutions here. So there's nothing from there. And just sine of x equals minus 1 over 5 is going to be our uh, solution here. So x is equal to minus 11.5. And if we were to draw that on our graph here, we're going to get minus a fifth down the bottom here. The second solution is therefore going to be minus 180 add 11.5 minus 168.5, working with a bit of symmetry on these curves here. So we've got two answers here. We've got... Uh, minus 11.5 and minus 168.5. <clears throat> right, okay then, so we've got two sets of questions here. Have a go at the first set, pause the video and see how far you get. <clears throat> right, okay then, so let's have a go at the first question here. So we've got cos squared theta o is 1 over 4, and then doing cos theta, so square rooting both sides now, we're going to get positive or negative 1 over 2. So now we've just got to find out what these values of theta are, so the cos graph is going to look something like this, and the half marker is going to be at 60 degrees. So theta here is going to equal 60 degrees, the other solution on the other side of the graph is going to be 300, um, now we need to do the minus a half solution, so we'll work our way across and we'll get 120. And continuing to work our way across and we're going to get 240. So here are our four solutions for first question here. <clears throat> right, the second question here is 3 sine squared theta plus sine theta equals 0. Now you don't divide by sine here, what you do is you factorise out sine from this uh, equation here. So it's going to be 3 sine theta plus 1 inside our brackets. So therefore, either sine theta equals 0 or sine theta equals minus 1 over 3. So now let's go ahead and find those solutions. So we're going to start from the middle. And for the first um, for the first equation is sine theta equals 0, we're going to have solutions at 0, 180, and 360. And for the second set of solutions here, we're going to need our calculator for this. So we've got a value at minus 1 over 3. So we now need to do minus, so sin minus 1 of negative 1 divided by 3. And for this here, we're going to get minus 1, 9, minus 19.5. So that would be this solution back here, which is no good to us if we're in between 0 to 360. So we'll add 360 to get to the other solution on the other side here. So this solution over here is going to be 340.5. So this one is now not needed, 340.5. And then we'll have to work out this solution back here. I'd say that's probably 180 plus 19.5 working with a bit of symmetry on that curve there, 19.5. So we're going to get for that final solution 199.5. Okay, so in this case we get five solutions because we've got three intersections of the sine theta equals zero line. Okay, I hope that was okay then. So second set of questions now, pause the video and have a go at these two. Right, we're done for how we're going to go at these. Let's have a look at question 2D now. So the answer here, so we get 4 sine theta equals... So the first thing I'm going to do here is turn the tan theta into a sine over cos theta. And then the next thing I'll do is times up by the cos angle. And then I'll subtract the sine theta over to the other side of the equation. Now we're not going to divide by sine here. You'll have seen in this question and the previous question that when you divide by a trigonometric function, you'll actually lose some solutions um, when sine of theta or where cos of theta uh, equals zero. 
In this case here, what we're going to have is uh, we factorize out the sine instead. So we therefore get sine theta equals zero or cos theta equals a quarter. So therefore in between minus 180 to 180, for the theta solution, for the first bit here, we're going to get minus 180, um, 0, and 180. And then for the cos bit, we need to do inverse cos of 0 0.25, and we get 75.5. Now, given that our angle here is in between minus 180 to 180, our graph's going to look a little bit like this, and at a quarter, we're just going to get the positive and negative of that 75.5. So that's our answer for uh, question 3 here. Question 3a, uh, the fourth question in this sequence here, we need to first expand the bracket. So it's going to be 4 sine squared minus 4 cos theta. Uh, equals 3 minus 2 cos theta. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to change this sine theta into a 1 minus cos squared. Uh, and then we have the rest of it. And then we need to get everything over to one side to make it a quadratic uh, expression. So we'll take everything over to the right hand side. This is going to be 4. Uh, we need 3 take away 4, that would be minus 1. We're going to add 4 cos theta onto the other side, so that would be add 2 cos theta. And we're going to add 4 cos squared onto the other side, so we get 4 cos squared theta. Now, uh, what I'd look to do next is to substitute it into the formula here. Um, however, that's not going to work, so I have to pull out my quadratic formula here. So in this case here, it's going to be um, uh, cos theta equals minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4 times 4 times minus 1, all over uh, 2a, so 2 times 4. So the first solution I'm going to get here is cos theta equals 0 0.309. And the second solution here, I'm going to get minus 0 0.809. And then doing cos minus one of these answers, I get 72 and 144. And that's just in between 0 to theta, which is not going to have any repetitions of solutions in between 0 to 180. Right, OK, so those are the answers for exercise 10F. So as I've said before, trigonometry is a very difficult chapter in A-level maths. Make sure you have plenty of practice at these questions here. Um, ask your teacher for help. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching.